you say you're good at keeping plot secrets and things, but mm -hmm. you were a bit loose-lipped about the plot for Star Trek. To one, one person, yeah, who I thought deserved to know, and that was Stephen Hawking. Um, we were into our third margarita, I think, and <laughs> I decided to tell him, and he literally, apart from the agents who told me the news and the people who were employing me, were the only people that were supposed to know. So, yeah, I told him. Wow, did he tell anyone else? Not as far as I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, here's the thing. The late Professor Hawking's work uh, into the nature of space and time travel yeah. inspires us here on the show a lot. And uh, <laughs> we often unearth new evidence of time God. travel on the show. Okay. For instance, we've outed uh, Daniel Radcliffe as a time traveller. <laughs> Actually, not once, twice. We found Daniel again in another era. There he is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we also had uh, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> he showed up in Newcastle uh, as, as, a, as a ruffian. And now we can exclusively reveal Benedict Cumberbatch is also a time traveller. Here he is in the 1920s. <laughs> that is uncanny. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, you made yeah. someone very happy in the 1920s. <laughs> Like looking in a mirror, Graham. <laughs> um, where did I get those bangs from? Look at that. I know. We can, if you want, we can recreate the look if you want to. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, I've got... uh, can I say, I'm glad you said yes because someone went to a lot of trouble to make this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, well, to honour that, I must wear it. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh, the internet. Here we come. Here we okay, go. Here we okay. Go. Yep. There we go. Uh, you, you do that bit yourself. I do that bit I myself. I don't want to hurt you. Okay. So right, ready? Do a, if we do a, look at, where do I look? Uh, where do you is look? Uh, camera up. five uh, there, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad! <laughs> <laughs>